In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store. I'm going to take you through everything step by step from start, no conversion tracking whatsoever, all the way to the end where you have full enhanced conversion tracking for your e-commerce store. And if you want the full written guide complete with a downloadable container, which you'll need to install conversion tracking, as well as the custom event code you'll need to paste into your Shopify, then you can get that for free by clicking the first link in the description. By the end of this video, you'll have enhanced conversion tracking set up. You'll have a purchase tag, an add to cart tag, product view tag and a begin checkout tag. You also have Google Ads dynamic remarketing setup as well as Google Analytics 4. So it doesn't matter if you have no conversion tracking setup at all or your current conversion tracking is broken. As long as you follow everything in this video step by step, you'll have full conversion tracking setup for your Shopify store. When it comes to conversion tracking, before you do anything else, we need to make sure you have Google Analytics installed in your Shopify. To do this, you want to go to your admin.shopify.com and go to your Google and YouTube app. Once that's all connected, you want to make sure that Google Analytics 4 is installed. It'll have a pop-up for this, but you can also go in settings to sort this out as well. Just make sure that it's connected. The next thing you want to do is to go into your Google Ads account. On the side, go to goals and settings. In settings, you want to make sure enhanced conversions is turned on. So you see here enhanced conversions. You just make sure this is turned on and the method you should use is Google tag. So now we need to set up the conversion tags. To do this still in goals and conversions, you go to summary. And here there's no conversion tracking setup. So we need to create new conversion actions. Let's go create. And we're tracking conversions on our website. Here you want to type in your website domain. Once that website domain is typed, you click scan. Then at the bottom, we want to add a conversion action manually. So click that. This window will pop up and this is where we create our conversion action. The first category we're going to do is purchase. So click select category and go purchase. For these conversion options, you want to add purchases to the account default goals and you want to have it as a primary conversion. For the conversion name, you can name it whatever your brand store is plus purchase. I'm just going to name mine here. Of course, that's named. For value, use different values for each conversion. Leave that default. Count, you want to count every single one. For the click through window, an engage view conversion window and view through conversion window, you just want to set these to max. So this one to 90 days, this one to 30 days, and this one also to 30 days. Attribution, make sure it's on data driven and the account conversions are done through the Google tag. Once that's done, you can click done. And that's our purchase tag set up correctly. Now we need to create three more tags. The next one we're going to do is add to cart. Here we don't want add to cart to be a default goal. And we'll just name our conversion action here. Same with value, same with count. And again, expanding out these conversion windows. Data driven, manage through tag, click OK. Now we need to add a begin checkout. Same process here, get rid of it in count goals, name it. Once it's named, value, count, same with this one, you max it out. And then lastly, we're doing a product view, which is page view down here. Same process again, just name it, doing all of the conversion window dates here, and it's the same settings. So now you have four conversion goals, purchase, add to cart, begin checkout, and page view. Now we want to click save and continue. Now we need to add tags to these four conversion actions. And we're going to use this using Google Tag Manager. So over here, we have the conversion ID and each of the four conversion labels. We want to save this because we're going to need this later. So just copy this, put it into a notes app. Me, I'm just going to paste it in a Google Doc and there it is. So that's all of our conversion goal set up. Now we need to set up the actual tags themselves. And we're going to do this through Google Tag Manager. So now you want to go to tagmanager.google.com. Once you're in Tag Manager, you want to click admin and click import container. This is where you need to go to the link in the description to find the free guide I'll show you on screen now where you'll have access to the pre-built tag manager setup all you need to do is scroll down to find this yellow bit click it open it up and then download it once you have it downloaded you can upload it here and then once it's done you just want to click merge scroll all the way down and then add to workspace at the bottom here again link to this container completely for free just download it in the link in the description now on the left here we need to go to variables and once we're on variables we want to pay attention to these constants here the add to cart the begin checkout the product view the purchase label and the conversion id we'll start with the conversion id first so if you click conversion id and here you just want to edit this variable and this value here is going to be the conversion id that you pasted from the conversion tag and conversion goal set up before so just copy this paste it into here and click save now we need to paste the conversion label to the constant that it matches so we've got purchase label here click this one edit this one this is purchase so we get the purchase tag conversion label here copy this come over here paste it and then save and we want to do this for each four of these so next we'll do add to cart add to cart is this one over here copy this edit paste save go back here we've got begin checkout so we'll just copy this one Go to begin checkout, open this, copy paste it in and save. And then lastly, we've got product view. So open this one, product view, copy paste, edit, do this one and then save. So now we have all of the labels and the conversion ID in these variables. Last thing we need to do is submit this workspace. We'll go up here to submit, publish, continue. And now all of this is published. We want to X out of this, go back to workspace. And then this GTM code up here, we want to just copy this and put this into our doc. We'll need this for later. So that's Google Tag Manager set up. Now on the final part, which is setting up the Shopify customer event. To do this, we need to be in our Shopify admin. At the bottom left is settings, click this. And then on the side here, click customer events. Here we want to go to custom pixels and add a custom pixel. Pixel name, just call it Google conversion pixel. 
at the pixel. Here we want to get rid of all of this. And here's the key part now. We need to go back to our main document, which is over here. Again, link to this is in the description, absolutely free. And then scroll all the way down to click here, Google tag manager code for customer event. Open this, select this, copy, go back here and paste it in. Now there's a couple of things we need to sort out here. The first one is the country code, which is just marked by this red XX here. You need to set in the country code, which is the country that you're based in. So I've got some examples here, US, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Germany. Because we're advertising in the US, we're just gonna put US here. The second thing we need to do is scroll just a bit further down to the GTM tag. So as you remember, we got the GTM tag from a Google Tag Manager before we came to this step. You just wanna go back to your doc, get this number here, go back to this, select that, paste that in. And that is all done. And then once that's done, you just at the top here, you wanna click save, it's pretty hidden, but you just wanna go save and then connect connect and with that you now have full conversion tracking set up the last thing you need to do is go back to your conversion actions and with the add to cart the begin checkout on the page view you just want to turn these into secondary so go edit secondary observe only and again with all of these just turn them to secondary observe only just so they're not optimizing in your google ad account and then every single campaign that you run if you're an e-commerce which most of you are you'll just have the purchase tag be the account default goal for all of your campaigns so that's full conversion tracking set up for your google and shopify store and i've got two things to ask of you the first one is that if you are a shopify brand and you want us to scale you on Google and do all of this for you plus all the other stuff that comes with Google Ads, then visit demandcapture.com by clicking the second link in the description right now. Check out our case studies, check out our free resources, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. And if you're at all interested in us running Google Ads for you and scaling your brand, acquiring net new customers on Google, then book a call. We can chat, complete new obligation, and I'll give you a free Google Ads plan. And the second thing is that if you want to find out more about the best Google Ads strategy for e-commerce coming into 2025, I want you to click this video on screen here and I'll take you through everything you need step by step to get the most out of Google ads for your brand this coming year. Thanks for watching, like this video so you can come back to it, share it with someone else who needs it, and I will see you in the next one.